guys good morning happy weekend welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is Janet and to you all friends you are welcome back to this channel so guys today I want to show you guys how to make Nigerian meat pie if you are new to this channel please don't go away without subscribing maybe this face might not be the be most beautiful and the youngest on YouTube but I, sh I can assure you it has a lot to offer you there is more to come on this channel that you are going to love so please subscribe to my channel so let me introduce you guys to the ingredients I'll be using for this recipe. Come on here. In here I have 800 grams of all-purpose flour. I have salt, sugar, one scotch bonnet pepper and onion blended together. I have minced meat. I have thyme, curry powder, garlic powder, vegetable oil, 500 grams of butter, Irish potato, newly peeled and cut. I have baking powder. I have my three eggs. I have two nut cubes. And I have this vegetable. This is already made one. I decided to go for the ready-made one guys there is no time for all these things this is carrots celery and onions so let's start by missing it let's start missing the flour like I said here is 800 grams 800 grams of flour so I start by adding one sachet of baking powder One spoon of sugar for the sugar I'm going to make it two spoon then just this little amount of salt then we mix together After which I'm going to cut the butter in pieces into the floor. Make sure your butter is freshly out of the fridge. That's the only way you're going to get the best meat pie. So we are going to start mixing, it's time to mix, but this mixing guys, I'm not going to do it, my hobby is going to come in now, this is where the hard works lie, I don't have mixer, so hobby is going to do it for me. So guys, I have hobby here, he's about to mix the flour and the butter together, hello hobby, are you ready, are you, do you want to say hello to guys? Hello guys, good morning, happy weekend, tell them to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my web channel. Thank you. I love you all. Okay, let's start mixing now. We are going to mix until everything is well incorporated. But you can no longer find the sign of butter in the floor. Meat pie is sweet, oh, but this is where the hard work lies. So guys, this is the right consistency you should be getting after mixing. As you can see, there is no sign of butter in it now because everything is well mixed. So I'm going to add egg. I 
I'm using three eggs for this. For the quantity of the flour I'm using. Mind you, if you are using less flour, you don't need three eggs. And mix together. Continue mixing until we form our dough. So guys, this is how it's looking after mixing. I formed the dough. So I'm going to cover now and store in a cool dry place for one hour. After which we we'll start doing our meat pie. So now I'm going to cover. Cover with this cloth. I'm going to store it in my oven. My oven is not on, but as you all know, oven is always warm. So I'm going to put it there for one hour. So guys, while our floor is resting, I'll start preparing the sauce for the meat pie. Start by adding oil. Not too much oil, eh? just a bit, a little bit of oil. You add them to mix vegetable. Add the potato. Going to allow to cook for five minutes before adding any other thing just because of the potato because among all these things is the strongest among them so i'm going to cook for five minutes and be back so guys it's time to add the minced meat Some garlic powder. Thyme. Curry powder. And the scotch bonus pepper. Scotch bonus pepper is optional. I love my meat pie a little bit spicy. That's the reason why I'm adding pepper. Add my nut cubes. A bit of salt. And then I'm going to add some water and allow it to cook. Now I 
have to taste in case if I had to if I want to add anything. No, I don't need to add anything. So we are going to allow it to cook for 10 minutes. Then our sauce should be ready in 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes. Let's see. Take a look. Let me feed the potato and see. Yeah, it's okay. I can as well all the fire. Then we are going to leave it to cool down. So guys, this is after an hour. I'm going to start making a meat pie now. To avoid sticking, I'm going to sprinkle some flour. know but I'm hoping to get at least 14 to 15 meat pie out of this one I really can't tell let's just go ahead and prepare it Take a plate, place it, and then you cut. Making sure that you are holding your plate very well. If not, you won't have the exact shape shape of the meat pie. You see? Perfectly. Add in your meat your sauce and then you gently close it like this making sure that every hole is well closed and then you use the fork to close it very well See, I have my first meat pie. I will go ahead and place it on my baking tray. This is my baking tray and I have oven paper on it. It's going to help the meat pie to cook very well at the bottom. Just keep on repeating the same process until everything is finished. Place again.
this is the second one as you can see my meat pie is a, a little big if you want yours smaller than this then you have to go for a smaller plate as you can see my size of plate is a little bit bigger so guys these are the first step that i got these are 10 pieces and as you can see i still have this one so i'm just going to break an egg now and rub it on top of the meat pie the egg is just for making the meat pie a little more shiny to help it look more beautiful take my brush dip inside the egg then rub it on the back of the meat pie making sure that you rub everywhere so now i'm taking it to the oven i've already preheated my oven so I'm going to be baking for 180 degrees for 20 minutes. So while the first round is in the oven cooking, I'll go ahead and prepare the second round. So guys, these are the first step of the meat pie. As you can see, baking so lovely. And here are the second steps. At the end, I was able to come out with a 17 meat pie. So I'm just going to remove this one now and then bake the second step. So guys, these are the meat pie. As you can see, I did a very good job. So thank you guys for watching. Newcomers, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell for you to receive more videos. Thank you all for watching.